Okay, so the first step is we are going to get the WWE Undisputed Heavyweight Championship. To locate this under Championships, we search for the creator Don Don. Donovan has two different versions of this. They are slightly different, but they are almost near identical. Find yourself the latest one and enjoy this. It's got to be almost identical to the thing that is going to be in 2K24, and Donovan worked hard on putting this one together. Next, let's get the updated attires going. Let's start it off with Solo Sokoa. ACKY is going to be the creator. This is head of the table. Shout out to him. And he has multiple things that we're going to be looking at here. First is the Solo Sokoa 23. Solo 23 is the one. The hashtag is Solo Sokoa. ACKY. If you go into the first hashtag, and just put in ACKY, you will locate his work. Get Solo Sokoa's updated red attire, as well as like the whole blacked out outfit that he has with the sleeveless jacket that he wears. And with this, we are updating his portrait too. And ACKY, or head of the table, has this too. You can get one where he has the towel over his head, the black towel, or you can have it without. And sticking with head of the table here, we are gonna grab this custom portrait for updated Roman Reigns, holding up the ones, and he's got the undisputed Universal Heavyweight Championship with him. But what about an updated Roman Reigns? Let's get him a promo attire. Luckily, What's the Status has both a promo attire and an updated 2023 look for Roman Reigns right here. The hashtags are Roman Reigns 23 to locate it, done by What's the Status. It already has a portrait in there, but we'll show you in just a second, updating all of the portraits and renders for all the wrestlers. We can't forget about Jimmy Uso. Jimmy Uso has been on a roll right now. Like I'm really enjoying what he is doing. Solo is not gonna high five him at all. And I love just kind of what he is doing overall with the bloodline. It was getting a little tired of the bloodline, but now I feel like Jimmy is revitalizing this whole thing. To get this Jimmy Uso, we're looking for Soyel Roo as the creator. The hashtags are Jimmy Uso and Soyel Roo if you wanna locate him. This is Jimmy Uso 23. And to go along with Jimmy Uso's updated look, we're getting this updated custom portrait done by Mac Dog. The hashtags are Jey Uso, Jimmy Uso, and the Usos to locate it. I put in Jimmy Uso with images as the filter and under most downloaded on the second page, that's where I was able to find this one. Now the bloodline is not complete without the wise man and we need an updated wise man. So to get a new Paul Heyman, we're looking at the creator Tadio MR, if I'm saying that correctly. The hashtags are Paul Heyman, Roman Reigns and Mr. Tadio, T-A-D-E-O is what you're looking for. This is Paul Heyman 23 version number three. And I like this because it's just Paul Heyman's blue suit that he wears where he's got the red tie and the brown shoes. It looks a lot more updated and the hair is updated too. You still get a custom portrait with this one, but let's get a brand new Paul Heyman portrait. To do this, we will search under images and the filter is Paul Heyman. And on the first page, there's a couple of different options. The standard one that's in the game is just fine, but if you're looking for something a little different to separate it, you wanna be able to use this one here coming in from MacDog as well. Our next move is going to be updating all of the wrestlers we just downloaded. First, we look at Jimmy Uso. Make sure you set the updated custom portrait image and you set it as an alt attire for Jimmy. We can do the exact same thing when it comes to Solo Sokoa. Paul Heyman, do the same thing. Remove the old portrait if you want to and substitute it for the new one we just downloaded. And for Roman Reigns, this is done by What's the Status. So there's a lot of like hidden things. There's a lot of stuff in there. Don't worry about the glitched out look of Roman Reigns. It's to get out everything to work properly once you are playing it, but you get his promo attire as well as the in-ring look for Roman. It has that custom image in there for the render, but we can replace it with the one we downloaded. The next thing you wanna do, and this is kind of optional, but I like to go in and update all of the rendered and what the current attire is going to be for the wrestlers. So we're gonna go in one by one and we locate Roman Reigns and we're setting Roman Reigns 23, his promo attire as the standard for him in any match that he does. We're doing the same thing when it comes to Jimmy Uso. I wanna give him that brand new Uso attire because it's also gonna update the render image when it comes into the teams and when we select him. We do the same thing for Solo and now we go over to the teams itself. This is where it gets a little bit funny because for some people, they've never touched the Bloodline entrance and they may still have the Titan Tron for it. For others, it doesn't seem to work very well. Now, if you have the Bloodline already set up as a team, you can see that all the custom render images are now in included depending if you got the latest patch or not and if you've touched this in a while it might be painful literature as your trio's entrance but the bloodline motion is there when we go into our trio's entrance make sure everything is set up for roman reigns and you select the bloodline as the trio's motion and i swapped out solo and jimmy for their spots 
but you decide what looks better for you. It's replacing J in the motion entrance. And now what I really like here is having the different options with your bloodline entrance so that we can have them coming out to the ring in Roman Reigns promo attire. You can have them all coming out to the ring where Roman Reigns is going to have a match and I get set Jimmy and Solo with their promo gear on. And a weird one, I did a six man tag team match just to see what would happen. When I did that, you get the bloodline entrance glitched. Go figure there are glitches in this game. What's glitched is Paul Heyman in a six man tag team match. It looks good, and it's also wonky, obviously. Paul Heyman is invisible, but he will hand the championship over to Roman Reigns. So when Roman is just walking out of the ring, he's got the belt around his waist. It looks perfect, because that's what Roman does currently. You don't get the wise man next to him. That's weird. That's a mixed bag. So if you do a six-man tag, this is probably going to happen to you. Now, if you do a six-man tag and you win, you will get the Bloodline Trios victory motion. Double check you've set this up when it comes to the team itself, but you will get that Bloodline victory included. I hope this helped you out. If it did, help me out by hitting that subscribe button and click this video right here for more 2K23 content. See ya.